Yeah. Facts. No, I guess you on that. You know, we got through this interview and I ain't asked nothing about Dreezy or MIC. I said, I'm not going to ask about Dreezy or MIC. I said, I'm going to get through this interview because Mikey always asks about this, you know. But people like to know about this shit, Mikey. Man, you guys, what you want to ask, Gary? I want to ask this, though, Mikey. You know, I wasn't going to ask, but I got to ask since you're here, Mikey. You know, the internet, it in, you know, detail your early, you know, relationship with Dreezy and, and things like that. Um, do you feel like at that moment you should have popped too? Because I think y'all had music together too, right, Mike? Um, yeah, we had, um, mm -hmm. yeah, we had a mix, we got a mixtape out. Um, we had a couple of videos, few videos. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to say that necessarily that just because she popped, I supposed to pop. You know what I'm saying? I, I, to be honest, she. Not even just off her. I feel like I was supposed to been pop. You right. know what I'm saying? I was putting in a lot of work, bro. Right, you were. We put in a lot of work. Me, Will, and Lil Chris. We put in a lot of work, and we put a lot of shine on Out West alone. I don't want to take none from artists like Stun Taylor, Sicko Mob, and Lil Fo and all them niggas. But let's be real. We put a lot of, and not just through music from them Fifi's. We was doing a lot of shit. We was putting up. We was Chicago. We was in a newspaper for Fifi's, man. Mm. They put us in a newspaper for having block parties, man. Right. Them people came to the block with cameras and man, we need to interview y'all. And shit was that lit. Yeah, <laughs> man. The shit was that lit, man. The shit was that lit, though. Yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, him. I don't. No, nah, I don't really feel like just because she popped, I was supposed to pop. Oh, she popped up. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? They looking for what they looking for. She was what they was looking for. You know what I'm saying? So. But you feel like you helped a lot of artists early in this shit. I did. Right. That's what I mean by that. I think you helped a lot of artists in this shit. I did. I, I did. Yeah. You might don't want to see it, but I'm going to see it. I, 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 I helped a lot. I did. I, I'm going to say it. I helped a lot of artists. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of artists that I helped and that was fucking with me before they was popping. Right. That, you know what I'm saying? Right. But it's, it's, it's some of them, it's, it's, it's artists who. Who got the got a buzz? Who got their own buzz? Don't get me wrong. I ain't. The, I'm not gonna say I'm the reason why they was hot, right. or they was the reason why they signed. The people are linked to you. They latched on to you. Hey bro. man, let's let me be clear. When you from the suburbs, and because I know people already might be going. Oh, are you talking about Dreezy? No, I'm not just talking about. I'm not just talking about her. Okay. Because I know a lot of people who was from the suburbs who was making music, and I was fucking with them, and nobody. I'm not even talking about just mainstream. I'm talking about artists who still got this they, they smaller buzz. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who people really know about it. It was a lot of artists who out here who didn't uh, people didn't know these motherfuckers from a can of paint till they started doing music with me. The hood, the Nick definitely out west. Motherfuckers out west and out in Drove City and on 79th Street, they ain't know a lot about a lot of these <coughs> niggas and a lot of these bitches until I started doing music with their ass. My guys used to be saying shit like, man, why you fuck with them? Why, why you rock with them, man? Or it used to be like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make me feel like, oh, motherfuckers ain't. But at the end of the day, motherfuckers used to be, motherfuckers gonna tell me shit. Everybody I fuck with was raw, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? My close circle, circle, we put in that work for real. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that, so, man. MIC, that's a legendary group. You think legendary facts. group? Facts. Uh -huh. Legendary group, you know. I, I still feel like, you know. I feel like we could have been a um. What it what did it, is it ever been a rap group that was popular like that? How can I say that? I think y'all was like the first. I think like I'm I talking said, about mainstream, big. Okay. Um, give me that question again. Is there anybody? Okay, let for instance, how B2K a group, okay. and how um what's the other nigga's name? Was that is B2K Lil Fizz number no? Yeah, B2K. That's B2K? Yeah. Okay, like them. And um who else was a group? Uh, Basically all the singing groups. Right. Mostly it'd be singing groups who'd be successful as groups. Okay. But I feel like as rappers, we could have been that successful. Facts. Like the R and B singers was. Facts. If we would have just stayed strong and kept our solidness as far as all our team, because you gotta think about it. Even though me and Will from the same block out west on Sir Mike and Colin, Will right. still got a different hood right. out in the suburbs and Dome. He still got his own little crowd over there too, his niggas that he grew up with over there. Right. So, and look who's from a different hood. Right. And I'm from three different hoods. Right. 
So just think about we got all them bitches combined and everybody locked in and stayed solid. We could have been big, yeah. but I get it. You know, I told you. everybody can, everybody don't think the same. Everybody don't be on the same page, and you can't force a motherfucker to do nothing they don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? MIC, that was a while ago. What changed? The music shit changed in it from your first MIC shit y'all was doing to right now to this day. The drill shit completely different, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 slightly uh, yeah, you know, it get different. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, it get different. So, you know, yeah, it, it even from the first year from when it started with Pack, nigga, every year it got bigger. It got bigger and it got different. More and more new shit coming with it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I get it. Uh, like uh, upcoming artists some advice in this shit, Mikey Dollars. You know a lot of famous artists, and you're a famous artist yourself, bro. I think an artists are learning from you. They just bumped into you, never dropped the project a day in their life. Today, the day they made the decision that they want to rap, Mikey Dollars is in front of them. One thing I'll be trying to tell all artists, definitely features who spend money with me, is if you're not going to invest or you don't got no money to invest, okay. to, or to at least get you further enough to where you can start making money off the music. You might as well not even do it. Okay. You might as well not do it because it, it costs money. And it's about money now. It's not about talent no more. It's not about talent. It's about money and who you know. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like it used to be. You motherfuckers, oh, he always here. I'm going to sign him. <laughs> I'm going to make him a star. And we gonna, right. it ain't like that no more. They want you to already be a star. They want you to already be able to sell tickets. I have a little motion on it. It ain't like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, and just... Push if you're gonna do it, you gotta push, you gotta be consistent with it. You can't drop a video and then wait another six, seven months, and right. not even another m month or two. You know what I'm saying? I remember the time I was dropping a video every week, every two, three days. I was dropping a right. video, nigga, every Monday. Right. Nigga, I was dropping some videos two, three times a and day right. or a week and mixtapes. Ain't that shit expensive though, right? At the time. Videos be getting costing money. At the time, okay, boom. I was paying for certain shit. Okay. Okay, I got these niggas who I'm paying. Then I got these niggas who want who <coughs> want some clout. Right. Who just started. There's a lot of these cameramen who I help build their name and right. build their channel. You know what I'm saying? I help them. And they plus even though I ain't pay them, they know they finna do views off my shit. Right. So they finna get paid anyway off their views. So here, you do a video for me for free. Here, right. there you go. I'm paying you that way. Right, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so shit. But yeah, that I was doing a lot of shit. But like I said, I was turned up. I had good energy. I always had bad bitches around me and niggas want to be around me. So you got to think about it. Most of these cameramen, not seeing all of them, not seeing all of them, but most of these cameramen don't have a life. Or they didn't grow up around. It's when they was growing up in high school, they weren't cool in school. They weren't growing up with niggas. They ain't kicking with niggas like me. And. Another thing is, some people treat cameramans like cameramans. Or some people just treat them like, oh, I just paid you. Right. I show everybody around me real respect. I show them love. I make them feel good. Even though, if I paid even if I paid you, you want a piece of pill, you pop right. pills, right. you want to smoke, you want to drink. Right. Oh, girl, like, you want to fuck up? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, right. motherfuckers just love being around me, bro. Pig, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what that was, too. So, motherfuckers was doing a lot of shit for me for free because they wanted to be around me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, what's all your social medias, Mikey? People want to get up with you. Another show on a book you want to talk to you. You cool with doing features? If somebody can hit you up for a feature, yeah, most definitely hit me up for a feature. Contact me. Nobody else ain't nobody booking my shit for me. I book all my shit. Mm -hmm. You go find me at Mikey Dollars. M I K E Y D O L L A Z. Cause niggas be spelling my name wrong. It's not Mickey Dollars. Mm -hmm. It's Mikey Dollars. M I K E Y D O L L A Z. Mm -hmm. What about Twitter? Uh, you know, Twitter, you Mikey know? underscore dollars underscore. I don't really be on Twitter like that, but yeah, you can find I heard it. it's back though. Porn. <laughs> <laughs> what about that's that? the only thing Twitter good for right now is porn. I just watched some porn on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what about the TikTok crazy? Jumped in there yet? No, nah, I couldn't get. I couldn't get a hold of it, man. Yeah. I feel like TikTok. For the little kids, man. For like the little 10 year olds and 11 year olds. I heard music go viral on there, though. Yeah, shit. Yeah, I, man, I, I, ain't, I didn't feel like going through, I had to rebuild all again, man. Right. It took me a minute to get my Instagram and my Twitter right. busting and right. 
Nah, I get and it. shit, I didn't want to do that again. Like that shit, hard work and That's dedication. Hard work. God damn it! I totally. I know. made us. I made one, and I was gonna let my son control it, but he got to oh. post some stupid shit. Right. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? So I just said, "Fuck it." All right. YouTube, cause you got a podcast too. Yeah, man. You can check. We go on YouTube. Mikey Dollar. You got to do a search. Mikey Dollars. Um, on YouTube. Mikey Dollars. Dollars and cents. The podcast. I um. I got another YouTube channel with okay. videos, but I. For some reason, I can't get back in that motherfucker. I'm trying to man find. But the video's still there, though. Yeah, the video's still there. But I also, I got a new YouTube channel though that I got my podcast episodes on. Oh, okay. So that's what I've been trying to build that up. You only got like 500, 600 subscribers right now, some shit like that. I don't know, but what's the I'm name of that podcast? I think that y'all had some dope ass conversations on there. Dollars and cents, the podcast. Dollars and cents. Uh, the yeah. one with Perno Spaz out, and I don't know who the other hey, lady Kitty. is. Well, what's the name? K Kitty. K Kitty. Y'all gotta watch that right now. That one was off the chain. Yeah, it was definitely. funny as hell, man. I got some new dope. My last, I only got two episodes, but that's because I was trying to build. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I didn't, I ain't like how I was doing episodes. Episodes it was taken to. So I got three new episodes. I got Big Daddy oh, Day yeah, yeah. and Lil Mark is coming up. Oh no! I got Chris Lofton from mm. probably you know Chris Lofton. I got. I just did an interview with a uh, prostitute and an ex prostitute. Mm. As and it's good, but they they dope individuals. Um, one of them, she actually, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just let, let when the interview drop, you know what I'm saying? But it's a dope interview. It's yeah, a, it's a dope and them conversations be dope. You know, a lot of these shows, they just talk about the men shooting somebody. Yeah. Shit. It's a lot of wild, dope conversations. Yeah. That shit. I'm yeah. With. What's the name of it again? Dollars and Cents. Okay, and what YouTube channel that's on again? Mikey Dollars. Uh, I type in it. Mikey Dollars, man, you're going to find all my shit. Okay, most definitely. Last thing, Mikey. Last question. I ain't holding you no more. Last question, Mikey. You told a story a little while ago on live, and you might don't even remember this, but I seen this shit when you see it, and I say whenever I bump into you, I'm going to ask you about the story. You told a wild story about being in jail, and somebody asked you for your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you can share that uh, story with some of my viewers, Mikey. Yeah, um, man, I got some crazy jail stories. <laughs> you might have to get me back on here. Man. I might have to come back and but I got some crazy. But yeah, um, I had. It was my first time. I was. It was my first time at Max because I had went to Minimum before. You know, Minimum tough too. Don't get me wrong. But it was my first time going to Maximum Prison. Oh, Maximum. Yeah. Okay. And um. And two niggas just walked up on me. They and we was in a bullpen, and they um they like man, what, cause I had the honeycomb Tims on, the honeycomb right. weak Tims. They need to bring them back. Okay, <laughs> I had the honeycomb weak Tims on, and they was brand new. These motherfuckers just came out. Nobody never seen these bitches, and I got locked up in them. Mm. And the niggas like, man, what size shoe you wear, bro? And I thought this shit was like, I'm like, man, this shit TV, man. This shit only happen on TV. So when they asked me, I'm like, man, I'm book. At the, I ain't gonna even lie. I was nervous because it's my first time in jail. Mm. Well, this is my first time at Max, and I'm 18 years old. Right. I'm 18. I'm only 18. You know what I'm saying? So, and, 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 and when they woke up, I'm like, man, on Mankey, y'all got me fucked up. And when I said on Mankey, that's what saved me. Right. My seeing my cut, I said on Mankey, boy, y'all got me. F they all oh, where you from? You from Joe City? Right. They all oh, we 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 fuck with Mankey too. They show me their Mankey tattoos. I'm boy, right. that's my cousin, boy. Right. They all oh, why bad? Woo, they check up GD with me. I'm all oh, alright, okay, cool. Right. We get it. We end up going on the same deck. On the school wing. That's crazy. Hell yeah. Shit almost happened though. Huh? Yeah, man. I it thought almost. That story was wild, bro. When you tell this shit. That's almost, crazy. man. Almost, <laughs> man. I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you, legend. It's all good, gang. You already know. We'll be back soon, man. Uh, the homie shoot tell the street reporter. Uh, appreciate that. That was good, kid.